Take her to be my concubine. Known to my dedication to the faith. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Dedicated. Says the adulterer with his own mother. Dedicated. What's the red child trait on my wife? Child of a concubine. Oh, she is pregnant. Okay. The return. My journey has been a long one, but I've finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed about how the Godai and the Hof Godai treat me. I've gone under... I've undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me, whether I see it myself or not. Let's have a feast to celebrate my homecoming. Also, I just realised I still don't have a physician, do I? And I already know who my physician should be. It's you. With your 20 learning. Um, because you were... The father's physician as well. What was I doing? Oh yeah, feasting. Feasting. Begin. And next month we are at full strength and we can go raiding again. At which point we get an income at last. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright. The spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Disaster strikes. My lord, the wine. It's all gone bad. I lose 50 ducats, which is the bulk of my remaining money. But everybody likes us more. Every dunk drunkard gains even more opinion. Okay, that's funny. Go buy some more booze. Quick. Be quick about it. Tender Puppy, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel, Pogmahon Merisas. Congratulations to the... Oh, <laughs> thank you very much for the follows. And Dark Phoenix Gaming wishes me to drink some tea. <sighs> Talking of adulterers, I had to run... I was doing as the Earl of Dublin got one particularly bonkers series of events where I discovered my son was involved with my wife. My response, what else to do but invite them for some family bonding time. Yeah, I've seen that one too. Uh, stewardship perk available. Okay, so now we can get meritocracy. Claim throne against my liege. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to be very useful. I am the liege! What's domestic affairs? Oh, right. That one increases opinion of vassals within my realm. Yeah, we want that soon. So grab meritocracy. And our armies are now formed. Praise all as raiders. 20 days to form up. A feast with a friend. It is such a joy to see my brother and friend Yarl Silver Knight. Once again we eat and drink and sing together. It's as if no time had passed since we last parted last. We could have been dining in a barn and this would still have been one of the greatest feasts I have ever been to. I lose 40 stress. I'm not stressed though. Uh, reinvigorating friendship. And he likes me more. You are Ersteroos. That is excellent. Okay. Feast as my guests depart. I gain 150 prestige. Every guest gains 20 opinion. And the feast ends. Just in time for the armies to depart. So first things first, I need to get Viking trait. So I am joining the fun. And England's got 2,800. We actually outnumber England right now. <laughs> we could go after Aquitaine. You know, just in case we haven't done enough damage to them yet. No, I think we're going to go to England. I hear Canterbury is nice this time of year. Did the realm split apart after the succession? Yes, it did. Oh, in fact, that might make it more easy to get an alliance with you. In fact, I suspect it will. No. Because you're a claimant. 
Oh, that's how you request a claim. How the hell do I get my kid back? Why is he in Reading? He's not even in your... He's in the temple. No, he's not. Oh, it is the Earldom of East Riding, so it must be yours. Ricka's daughter, is that why? I don't understand why my air is just lost over there somewhere. Weird. Oh, actually, I... I know a way that I could get him back. Oh, Visby is here. Oh, of course, I fought that war. And then fought a uh, holy war to stop them taking it back again. I remember now. Oh, wait, this has been looted already. Damn. Too late. I'm going to go and loot East Riding. Because they're not technically Ersteru. They're a heresy. And I can raid this. My daughter! Alright, so we've got another kid. And I need to open you again. I feel like I'm constantly opening this bloody subscriber dock. Close that. Because the number of times the power has just gone out, it hasn't made saves. Smashed. Okay, so we've got King Anubis. So this daughter is called Anubis. May you grow strong and wise, Anubis. <laughs> Medieval parenting. When the kid runs away, you send a raiding party after him. Obviously. Wouldn't you do the same? You know you're in trouble when your dad goes raiding to bring you home. Okay, we raided it. We didn't get anything. I don't actually want to piss Sweden off, so I tried. Let's go burn London. West Rankia is still Ersteru. And they are converting stuff. <laughs> it's down here as well. Is Aquitaine Ersteru? Where's... Oh, it's up there. No, they are Catholic, so they're no longer Waldesian. Okay. I thought I turned that frickin' off. Hmm. Sorry about that. Alright, let's burn London. Bavaria is getting its due. Oh wow, Bavaria is. Lotharingia has just exploded. Ludwig II, zealous, craven, honest. I guess he's just taken the throne. Flagellant, disputed heritage. Oops. Is this a war between them? Nope. That's just the state of affairs at this point. Your the conquest of Lincolnshire. So Lotharingia has just imploded. So we've got the Kingdom of East Francia, which is this white bit. We've got Lotharingia, which is this purple bit. And then Bavaria, which is this dark grey bit. Interesting. 
This is definitely one of the upsides of uh, Gavelkind, as you do see these just kingdom just explode as soon as their powerful ruler dies. Thankfully, we've avoided that ourselves so far, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Oh yeah, Guinness was taken from us and these guys are being raided. Oh, raided. Let's go to Southwark and then Kingston. Mercenary contract is expiring, I'm fine with that. Have I been able to merge armies? Crusading has been a bitch chasing the Pope's army across the land. I don't know. Uh, you can certainly merge your own armies, but merging with other people's? Not sure. Mercenary company dismissed. New temples established. Boulogne, your religious construction. I mean, we do have two temples here. Whether I keep them both or not is another question. Probably not. I'll probably put another castle here. If, you know, I could replace it. What do I need to become the cultural head? More counties. Which would basically require me becoming a king, I think. Alden, let's go and take that. Um, I do want to go and check to see what we are fascinated by at the moment. Norse, fascinated by... Casus Belli. We're actually halfway to getting Onagers now. Average development of Norse County, so we're up to plus 0 0.08, so it is speeding up. And it will speed up even more once I've actually finished integrating Flanders, because stupid sexy Flanders is a very, very wealthy area. Stupid sexy Flanders. Changing succession would help. Yeah, possibly. Gonna be a big Oktoberfest this year. Yeah, with that Bavaria, it certainly would be. I went to Oktoberfest two years ago. It was excellent. Definitely would go again. Ingbjorn has given birth to a perfect little son. Alright, next kid. Dominic Lauda. Dominic Lauda. Check that. L-A-U. D-A-T. Yeah. May you grow up to be strong and wise, kiddo. Cousin's been killed in a siege. Alfred, yeah. During the siege of Arnhem. Why was my cousin in Arnhem? Oh no, that's already been burned. And we take mysterious amounts of attrition for being over there. So, let's not be over there. Let's go down here instead, but we take no attrition. Seems a lot better to me. We've already got 150 ducats. My beloved wife, the servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As the High Chief Des Ingbjorn enters the chamber, she smiles and joins me without hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before Odin. Perhaps a little more carnal fashion than was intended. As we united in marriage, we're now united in heart. Comes lover. Bonds of marriage are enough. We have successfully seduced our wife. Bizarre. Alright, council. We want to improve relations with Cole. Begin swaying him again. And in fact, do I need you on court intrigue? Am I still... They're still trying to murder me. 
Discovered agent Skirkar, my champion. Renegade, scare cars managed to avoid capture and has fled to the countryside. Traitor! At least we got rid of one of the agents. So his chances of success are now much, much, much less. And we're going to try and murder him. No characters would be interested, but that's okay. Marshal earns respect. Marshal guidance. Popular opinion goes up. Jolly good. Good old fashioned counter murder. I mean, it's not murder. The man's wanted for attempted murder. Attempted murder? Is it attempted murder when you catch them and they haven't actually tried yet? But you have irrefutable proof that they were going to? sure. It sounds to me like justice. Fire and blood. Yeah. Actually, does Bruges need the captives? We're already at development 10. However, we can rise higher. Um. So, yeah. Capture. Move on to Arundel. Conspiracy. There you go. He's guilty of conspiracy to murder, and he's evading justice. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. This is me just sending the cops after his ass, with lethal intent. You could even say that we're going medieval on his ass. Medieval justice. Cousin's been taken prisoner. That's not good. In other words, he's guilty. Low control, uncooperative guilds. Oh, we'll get rid of that in time. Neighbouring ruler won a war. How full are we now? 216. We can still carry more. Uh, Carlsbrook. Winchester or Southampton? Let's go for Southampton. And here, passing right over Winchester and just not caring. No attrition. Don't understand what causes the attrition. I know I keep saying that, and it's because it keeps on frustrating me. Like, what is causing this? Marshall can marry? Oh, you're of age. Okay, um, interesting. So any of these going to be useful alliances? Not really. Macaram, maybe? Or we could make this a matrilineal and just do this to expand our dynasty, which does actually sound like a pretty good idea. Jorvik? <laughs> Gualadot? Where is Gualadot? Okay, that's a ways away. Oh, Finn. Uh, that's already in Frisia, though. Now that's not... Oh, you're really young. Hang on. Let's get this to age difference of, say, five years. You're still super, super young. Oh, Memel. Memel's not far off. It's there. 
So, goodness apurakid, forgiving, compassionate, and content. That seems like a very reasonable matrilineal match. Alliance formed. Done. Two hundred and fifty-seven. Let's go to Dorset, Prussia. Ugh. Sorry, Marshal. Not sorry. It's for the good of the house. Two sixty-three, and we're full. Oh, and now it's a much, much closer hop across the channel. We can do this all e all day. It'll be great. Less talking, more raiding. And these are already maximum size, aren't they? Yes, they are. What's in a name? With babe cradled in her arms, High Chief Des Ingbjord gaze meets mine. Her eyes are full of loving devotion. My love, let us name him Odin Odium Infinitus after you. Uh, no. Let's name him Duke Leto, or just Leto, because naming you Duke would be really, really confusing. Much better. <laughs> Alright, now we're starting to get a couple more kids. Daughter and three sons. That's gonna mean some seriously divided lands. <laughs> oh man, Hodium Infinitus, you've just undone everything that Innkeeper and Stein did. I am now Distinguished. Good, because Distinguished means that, yeah, secular opinion goes up. That's my nobles. And we also get another knight, which is useful. Let's disband you lot. Let's get another two months worth of recruitment and then also a bunch of new knights. Can we... Invite more champions? Yes, we can. Please do. And also call on a hunt. Whoa, lots of agents have joined the scheme. Which scheme? The one to murder me? Oh no, the one to murder steer car. I guess we found him. <laughs> well, it's nice to know that they automatically get invited by your spy master. Speaking of Leto, Dune trailer coming out soon. Hope it's good. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, strongly doubt anyone will remember Prussia in the future. I mean, it's that... It's that bit of Visby, isn't it? Prussia. Ooh, Prussia, you're, you're looking a little occupied there. Who are you fighting? Nordmar, conquest of the Hive Chieftain of Pomeralia. Is that a fight you started? Defender, Visby. No, you're defending here. So, about that alliance I keep offering you. Can't do it, because we're not allied. So, about that alliance I keep trying to offer you. Oh, he's also a claimant. Need to be spouse, child, parent, sibling, married to a child, parent, sibling, grandchild, grandparent, uncle, aunt, niece, or nephew. Fine. But they're still maudling, so they're still bringing renown to the house. I'll allow it. Murder! As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have a specially clever pigeon which Drushlava could use to send an urgent message to me here in Bruges if the need arises. But how would I get the bird into the castle of Toulouse? 
A local bird trainer could deliver it as a gift. If I send the gift myself, she couldn't refuse. However, I then become involved or it's too risky. I will send it as a gift. 70% chance she accepts. Done. Excellent. Hunted. Crack. As the powerful wolf that was drawing close to me disappears into the farmland, I turn towards the source of the sound. Ingmion, my wife, is standing behind me with a knife drawn and murderous resolve in her eyes. You stand no chance against me. I learn of High Chieftess Ingmion's attempted murder secret. Prowess challenge against her. I escape 17%. I wounded, but uh, managed to escape. Or 29% chance I die. Help! Help! Fado! If only I can make it back to camp, I have an 80% chance of escaping, but I am wounded. 20% chance of being killed. Fado, I lose 150 prestige. How good at fighting am I? I'm 14, I'm not terrible. She's a 21, however. Yeah, okay, we know that she's a good fighter. Run away! <laughs> A snake revealed. I cannot believe that my wife had the nerve to plot against me, to murder her own husband. I should not let this go unpunished. Who knows what might happen next time? I wonder what might be the best... In prison. We're imprisoning her. Actually, before we do that... Council... Support schemes. You're going to support my attempts to imprison her. Renegade! Traitor! Alright, so this guy... is just... an agent, but she is the one that's actually trying to do it. So first of all... I'm going to pin you, so I know you. Next of all, I'm divorcing your ass. <laughs> Bye. And then that is going to allow me to marry someone a lot better than you, because quite frankly, my dear, you are terrible. And then we are going to find somebody with a 10-year age difference, with a maximum age of 35. Actually, I don't care about age difference here. Uh, as long as you're an adult. Okay, so what do we care about? Intrigue, probably. Ah, I could marry the concubine. You're not wrong. She is quite good. I don't seem able to do that. I'm guessing I would have to dismiss her as a concubine and then marry her. Um, or we could just find somebody better and have them both. Like Anne Swagdis, who's intelligent. She is also, she's unreformed, but we could reform her. She's really good. 34, getting on a little bit, but... Hmm. Done. 